Hi everybody, I'm Tuesday Moriarty and I'm here today to show you a cooking journal that I made. This journal is eight and a half by five and a half. It's about two and a half this way with that squishing. I have Sorry Silk Closure here and the spine is about three fourths of an inch. This is cardstock here, double thickness. And um, let me see, what else do I gotta tell you? It's from a paper pad I got at Joann's, which is called Preserved Paper from DCWV. And uh, from a 12 by 12 pad. And I think that's that. There's gonna be pages from a bunch of different recipe books in here. I will list all those down below and um, as well as the links to all the different designers papers that I used in here all their digitals so that will also be in the links below so let's get going I got a sorry silk closure here and it's held on with the eyelet there this digital on the front here is from Patricia Veramontes from her gold medal flower set. This here is um, a paper from Artie Mays. And this back here is from a magazine from House and Garden Magazine that my friend Brenda gave to me. And on the back here, again, it's the same things. That's Patricia Veramontes, that's Artie Mays, and that's from that Home and Garden Magazine from my friend Brenda. So let's get going. The inside here, we have a pocket. These, these papers here are from that paper pad. Or no, wait, they're from a different paper pad. This is from the Theodosa Square paper pad. Okay, I have three different paper pads in here, so I'm not gonna be able to keep them all straight. Those will also be listed down below. Um, they're stenciling throughout pages. And I will have that stencil, stencil lift below as well. I have this little jar here for writing space, and that's from Artie Mays. I have, this is from the Graphics Fairy. I turned it into a writing card. This is from Patricia Veramontes, another journaling card. This is from the Old Design Shop, and it's several pages to it. I just took the front of it and I turned that into journaling space as well. And this is also from Patricia Verimontes' um, gold metal flower set. And this is uh, a recipe that I've shrunk down because it was a full size page, eight and a half by 11. And I had found an old recipe book in a, a secondhand shop and there was handwritten recipes from this a bunch of people I don't know who they were so I just copied them and shrank them down you can read read the um, recipe here this is for hermits is what it's called and it's journaling space on the back as well you toss everything back in here I'll straighten it out later okay then I have just writing space here with stenciling this is cookbook page this is a, a like a diary kind of page. All the stenciling. This is a coffee dyed paper with doily mark in it. This is from a different cookbook. Here I have a pocket. This digital here is from um, Taylor Made Journals. This is from Old Design Shop. It's actually an envelope that you put together. This is from Taylor Made Journals as well. And this is a recipe that went on the back of, I'm trying to remember what it was. It had to be, yeah, Domino Sugar. It was a recipe on the back of the package. And this is old, it was cut out. It's been in my recipes for years. This is from a book called, what is it called? I know this. 
I have it written down here somewhere in all my myriad of notes I have. Oh, Flowers of the World. Okay. By Francis Perry and Leslie Greenwood. This is also part of a recipe book. This here I made a paper clip out of and it's from an ad that I got for one of those places you order food from <laughs> so you don't have to cook or you cook part of it. They give you all the ingredients. This is a recipe card that I picked up from a secondhand store. And this is a recipe. And if you go to the other side, you know, when it, when it comes out on the other side, this page, you'll have the whole recipes to things. So get that slipped back on there. There we go. Okay. More stenciling. This is a pocket for silverware that I got at a restaurant and I have um, a napkin decoupage on it. This is a tag I made that has coffee dyed paper and fabric on the front and little bits of sorry silk. This is from one of the recipe books. This is um, more stenciling, coffee dyed paper. This is from the paper pad. This is Taylor Made Journals. This is from the Graphics Fairy Journaling Space. This is a recipe is actually written on here for shrimp curry. It's in tiny little letters, but it's on there. This recipe here is a recipe that I got from one of my professors at college. It was his wife's recipe and it's for a cheese ball and it's simple, it's easy, and it is fantastic. Any, any place I've ever worked, I used to bring this in when we were having parties and need to bring things in. And we used to, people used to say for me to bring my crack ball. It's that good, it's that delicious. So you got a great recipe here. This is from Gail Agostinelli from one of her digital sets. If you'll see, let me see, does it have it where it's, yeah, from Helena, which is where she's from. More of a different recipe book that I just put the edging on. Another different recipe book. There's a lot of recipes in here. This is from Artie Mays from her Irish Season Flowers kit, I believe. This is a napkin here. And this is from Gecko Gals from Lorna at TaylorMade. And this is from Artie Mays. When you're using a bunch of different designers work, it's really hard to keep it all straight. And even with the notes written down, there's so many notes. <laughs> this is here is from Graphics Fairy. It's, it's writing space. And this is from Patricia Veramontes. And on the back here, I have um, avocado dyed paper. And this here is also from Artie Mays' kit. I, I think it's also from the Iris and Flowers kit, I believe. You got a doily here. This doily and this paper are both uh, avocado dyed. Whenever you see the pinkish ones, I did the avocado on them, along with the stenciling all over the place. Some more recipes. Manhattan clam chowder, yum. Well, not to me, but yes, to a lot of people. <laughs> New England clam chowder. And this is from Taylor May Journals, and this is from um, Gail Agostinelli. Here's one of the avocado dyed papers. And I have another of those paper clips, and this is. Um, embossed paper that a friend of mine made, my friend Sue, she gave me that paper. She embossed it and gave me some papers. Then we got some more recipes. Some stenciling. This is a, a cream, not cream, or tan paper that's, you know, that I bought that way at 8.5 by 11. And I avocado dyed it and it came out like kind of a peachy color. Or, yeah, peach. So here's some more recipes. This is from that same book that I said before, The Flowers of the World. 
This is from Taylor Made Journals. And this is another recipe. This is for, ooh, favorite devil's food cake, yum. So that was really off the side of a package. It opens up here. We've got the whole recipe there. It's off the side of a package. I think this was sugar again, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's sugar. I think it's for Domino's. We've got some fabric along the edge here, again with the stenciling and the doily. When I made the coffee day paper, I put the doily on it. Some more journaling space, recipe page. This here is from Donna at um, Junk Journal Ideas. You can go to her web, to her Facebook page, and there's a group there, as well as for, um, you can go to Junk Journal Ideas on YouTube, and also see all her videos there. This is another recipe for bread. And that's from Patricia Veramontes. This is another one of the pockets that I got the digital design from, from um, Junk Journal Ideas from Donna. This is a recipe for frozen cheese tort. Yeah. Another one of the recipes that I found, it was just in that, in that, res in that cookbook that I found. That's the first signature. Here's the second signature. This here has, um, this is part of the recipe, the cookbook that I found. It's not a cookbook. It was a book to put recipes in. And this is one of the dividing pages that were in it. Well, I guess that was part of a cookbook. And so I took that page and added it with fabric here and stenciled it. And it has recipes in it here for chicken with wine sauce. That's my mother's. That's my mother's handwriting and that's her recipe. This is for five-in-one oatmeal cookies, and this is for luscious pecan pie. So you're getting my mother's famous recipe here. Now she got it from somewhere, she didn't invent it. More, more from recipe books, from cookbooks. More paper, more recipes, more avocado dyed paper with stenciling. Another, another part of the page from the Flowers of the World. Some more coffee dyed and stenciling. Recipe here, cheese or bread, yum. What's the other side? Cheddar cheese and bacon. See, that's, that's from a bread book, this one. Some more of the paper pad paper. This recipe here is from Donna. It was, it says grandma pie. It's from her grandmother's um, recipe for pie. And this is Donna at J Junk Journal Ideas. So she was kind enough to give me her mother's recipe. So you'll be wonderful. You'll be able to have a famous person's recipe here. Because Donna's famous. Gazpacho, different kinds. Vegetable soups, cinnamon donut balls. Yum, lots of recipes in here. More avocado dyed here. Another pocket, another tuck. This is a guest check, and the owl is from um, the Graphic Fairy. That's who that's from, and this is a piece of the paper from Artie Mays. This is from the old design shop. You unfold, and you have avocado dyed paper here and writing space. This here is from also the old, the old design shop. That's Julie. And that's from there. And this is from Gail Agostinelli. This is part of her digitals. So there, you see there's a lot of writing space here. Um, whether you want to keep it as a diary, for me personally, I think I would use it as uh, put recipes in, just keep adding recipes to it. You know, there's room here to definitely write, write recipes as well as what's already in there. This is a glassine bag with a Mod Podge napkin on it. And this has some lace on it. This is part of a book page. And there's writing space back here with lace. And this is from Patricia Verimonte's gold medal flower set. And this paper here is from Antique Papery. I think it was one of her freebies, pretty sure. And it's got a recipe here for strawberry mousse. Only three ingredients. 
another doily, some more avocado dyed paper, some more recipes for Halloween party, chow mein burgers. If anybody tries that, if the person who buys this tries that, let me know how that is. Then we have another tuck here with another paper clip. Then we have, this is the paper, that, some more um, embossed paper my friend Sue gave me. This is from Patricia Veramontes. This is, I don't know, it's just some writing paper I think my mother gave me, I'm not sure. But it's been coffee dyed and baked. This is from Taylor Made Journals. There's a whole set that she has and there's a ton of them. There's a ton of, of the seed packs in them, all different kinds, they're gorgeous. Let me get the paper clip back on. Some more recipes. Tells you what page is, but you're not gonna get that. And so another page from that Flowers of the World. Avocado dyed paper. This is one of the heavier ones. Another part, the other side of the recipe that's on the other side of the pages. Some more coffee dyed, some more writing space. Another page of that cookbook that had the dividers in it. This has another um, paper clip there from Lorna, Taylor May. This is a library pocket. So we have this here. You can write recipe on that. That is from... Who is that from? I think it's part of the antique papery. Am I lying? I could be lying. Or it's part of Aunt Artie Mays. I'm not sure. I lost track of that one. This is part this is um, part of the digitals for Gail Augustinelli. And back here, there's more recipes. This is from the um, from the old design shop and it has whole recipes there. This is from my mother, a recipe in her handwriting. She's got beef, chipped beef in cheese sauce. So what is this one? Creamed chipped beef. That's the one I like. Cream chipped beef is really good. And here's another recipe. It's got pecan pie, it's got pumpkin pie, and this was from that, that from this book that I found. There was a lot of handwritten recipes in them in them, in it. Then, I'm not getting that down there properly because my angle's funny. Okay, that's the end of the signature. Here's in the last pocket. This is from Gail Agostinelli. This is from the old design shop. This is a recipe from when I got married and as a shower gift, my mother had everybody go, all everyone that was attending, all my friends that were attending, write a recipe and she had a recipe box and everybody wrote recipes down. And this is one of those. This is for potato and leek soup. This is chocolate pie, yum. And this is from Gail Agostinelli, from her set. So, this is the whole book. I didn't show you. I have here, I have danglies. I have a spoon. There's a cup there. There's a couple of flowers. There's three different flowers here. So that's there. And I think that's pretty much it. I think that's the whole book. So, it will be up on my Etsy. Come and take a look. And thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye.